Hello and welcome to week four of American Literature. This week we're going to be taking a look at the colonial period. Uh, a few things that you'll want to be aware of this week. Um, first, we're going to do some reading in the textbook. I'd like you to read the section called Literary New England, which you'll find on pages 14 through 17. From there, we're going to spend some time studying two authors. One is named Cotton Mather. He is a minister and author of the colonial period. We'll read two of his pieces, um, one called A People of God in the Devil's Territory, and the second called The Trial of Martha Carrier. These can both be found in the Norton Anthology, pages 165 to 171. Then we're going to jump forward about 100 years and read a text from an author not of the colonial period, but of the American Romantic period. Uh, author is named Nathaniel Hawthorne, and he writes a short story called Young Goodman Brown. You'll find that Young Goodman Brown is very much a critique of the work of an individual like Cotton Mather. Uh, Cotton Mather is a Puritan, and Nathaniel Hawthorne, again writing a hundred years in the future, is contending with the history, legacy, and ideas of the Puritan movement in the United States, and what would become the United States by the time Hawthorne is writing. Please make sure that you view all Blackmore material. Uh, specifically, there is a PowerPoint up here. When you download the PowerPoint, be sure to hit play because there is audio recording that goes along with the slides that will narrate and provide additional context for the colonial period. You'll also see a few other video uh, and supplemental material to help contextualize the period and also connect it to last week's discussion. Uh, this week, your written assignment is a journal response. It's due on Sunday, February 12th. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see that it is a three-part discussion question or a three-part journal response. The first asks you to reflect on what you've learned about the colonial period. The second asks you to respond to the work of Cotton Mather. And the third asks you to respond to the work of Nathaniel Hawthorne. As usual, I look forward to hearing your ideas and seeing what stuck out to you in the material from this week.